Good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in this world. We are here again for another Coffee with C. Our topic for today is from our friend Anu, and here it is. Coffee with C, I don't have a lot of friends in my high school, and it kills me inside. Like, I come home and go to my room and cry because I don't have people to text and hang out with like others. What is wrong with me? My mom told me I am nice and friendly, but I don't have friends. I don't know what to do in my boring life. In this video, we will be talking about why I don't have friends. We live in a time when our friendships are based of, of common interests and activities. But before anything else, I want you to understand that you are not a loser for not having friends. Well, let me give you my personal experience. I had friends that I grew up with for years. We did things together. We knew everyone's history. We were all like sisters and brothers. Then suddenly we just outgrown each other. They would mock me as a grandma because I was not interested in the things that they loved to do. They started loving activities such as drinking, going to parties, and socializing with random strangers in a club. I do not find these activities entertaining and just our perception and take on life have become west to east we cannot see eye to eye we no longer have anything in common our values our dreams or lack thereof have drifted as apart they started to distant from me when i started pursuing a university degree and they started talking behind my back for being overly ambitious and made it seem like there's something wrong with it the relationship and the environment just become so toxic and eventually i drifted apart and we don't have any bad feelings from being friends we've become acquaintances eight years later they are the same people the same circle the same job the same hobby just older they're still talking about the same thing over and over again so i moved on with my life i found new friends and i connected with a lot of people the thing is i value quality over quantity especially when it comes to having friends i have hundreds of acquaintances but few friends that i consider anyway all throughout these years i have met a lot of people they have a lot of friends who have introduced me to other friends we spent time together we hang out with each other and oh boy all they did was look at each other, talk about other people, exchange meaningless comments, drink, and smoke. It was the most useless experience of my life. When they asked me to go out again, I made an excuse that I was dead. Well, my point is, I want you to understand. I want you to be secured enough about yourself that you value your time and experiences over spending time with people who are not worthy of it it's easy to find people to hang out with but it's hard to find true friends and if you have one or two be thankful that you have them the thing is i love your question because i can empathize i've been through it so what to do if you don't have friends number one it's okay relax you will find them in time do you realize that there are 7 billion people in this world? Out of that 7 billion, you only need one or a few true friends that will stand beside you. In your message, you've mentioned that you don't have a lot of friends. So you have friends. You don't need a lot of friends, my friend. You will be better off with that one friend who understands you, who accepts you for who you are, who doesn't judge you as a person. They are friends with you for simply of who you are, not because of your social status. Stop trying to force yourself to other people who do not appreciate you. If you don't fit in in their circle, go leave and create your new circle. Number two, 
I want you to be yourself because if you do, the right people will be drawn to you. If you try to be someone else just to fit in so that you have friends, you will be attracting the wrong people who will eventually judge you, make fun of you, and talk behind your back because in no time, they will find out who you truly are. Now, I have ample of friends, 90 years old, 60 years old. They are definitely way older than I am. When I started to be myself and when I started to embrace who I am, I started to attract the right people. People with the same vision, with the same perspective, irrespective of our age differences. I found people where I can actually relate and I belong to. Yourself, your body, and your soul are the best friends that you can have in your life. They are the ones that will always be there for you until the day you die. Once you learn how to accept yourself, be yourself and embrace it. I want you to move on to number three. Focus on you. Live your life independent from people or what you call friends. Pursue your dreams. Study harder. Improve yourself. Spend time with your loved ones, your family, and be successful. Doing these things will give you a sense of satisfaction. You will gain self-confidence and you will learn how to be both mentally and physically independent. The thing is, you can be alone, but not lonely. In fact, you can choose to be alone because you want to focus on your self-improvement. Here's the secret, my friends. When you focus on improving yourself, people start navigating towards you. A lot of good friendships will come your way because you will be someone people enjoy spending time with and your happiness do not depend on them because you know that no matter what happens to you, you have yourself. People will crave your company because you are someone who is so secured of him or herself and you bring nothing but positivity to the table. No one wants to be around negative and down people. Well now, I have to warn you. You have to be prepared because when you get to number three where you become successful because you focused on improving yourself, now you wouldn't have a problem having friends. You will now have a problem how to sort out true or fake friends. People will start to take advantage or use you because of your newly found success. But that's a different video. Keep your requests, your topics, comment down below. I create videos every week for my Coffee with C community. And your topic may be next. Until next time.